Discovery Channel has decided to end their series, Sons of Guns. It was a television show that focused primarily on a gun shop called Red Jacket Firearms and their business dealings, which to me personally sounds like the most boring show on the planet anyway. <laughs> but the reason why they canceled it is because the owner of that gun shop, uh, Will Hayden, has been arrested for allegedly raping his own daughter. Now again, this is one of the most disturbing stories I've done in a long time, and apparently he started raping her when she was as young as 11 years old. Now according to reports, uh, TMZ says that Hayden was re-arrested Tuesday when cops decided to charge him with child rape. Hayden was first arrested two weeks ago for allegedly molesting his 12-year-old daughter. Also in the affidavit, the victim, which was his daughter, told authorities she did not report the acts because she feared physical abuse from Hayden, who allegedly told the victim, don't tell them nothing because I'm all you got. Well, he sounds like a guy who'd be great on TV. <laughs> uh, he can speak well. Yeah, uh, very articulate. That's right, yeah. Yes. Uh, wow, it's a horrible story. Yeah, so he was also arrested on August 9th uh, and charged with molestation of a juvenile and crimes against nature. According to WAFB-TV, he bonded out from that arrest after posting $150,000 bond. Now, I should also note that um, the gun shop that he founded, Red Jacket Firearms, has severed all ties with him after mm -hmm. this happened. And I should also note that he, these accusations have been made against him. He has been charged, however, he has not been found guilty. So, you know, if, if he did do this, this is absolutely disgusting and terrible. Who the hell does that to anyone? you know, much less their own daughter, but this is the kind of stuff that's happening in America. Yeah. I mean, it's and isn't he accusing the uh, ex-girlfriend of putting the daughter up to this? Yes, he is. He is, but the but his own daughter has come out and said that, yeah. uh, you know, everything in the report is true. She says that the, you know... How old is she now? Is she she's 14, 14 now, so it's been happening for the last three years, and she said that when she was 11, that was when he started forcing her to do uh, oral sex and intercourse, and she said that it was almost daily. Almost daily for three years. Well, and that's, you know, it's, it's so interesting because these allegations are obviously, they're so severe. Mm -hmm. And because of the severity, my first initial response, and maybe it's because, you know, we're sort of, at least I'm media adjacent, and I'm an adult now, instead of going, well, fuck him, hang him, I'm thinking, okay, I hope everyone is doing everything they possibly can to make sure that this is true. Because the, uh, talk about ruining someone's life. You know, mm -hmm. God forbid this happen, and he needs to be dealt with with but I hope every precaution is being made because who if it's not true the man's life is over anyway I mean his yeah. reputation is everything's ruined and yeah. and and if it's true good yeah yeah it's a you know it's a tough thing to, to to make up and you know it's a tough thing to prove so one presumes that they waited until they have yeah. evidence and the evidence they clearly have is, is right now it's oh. testimony from the from the daughter, but yeah, we don't know. Um, mm -hmm. He'll uh, presumably uh, fight it right now, but in the meantime, what network is it? The Discovery Channel. So right now, the Discovery, then they've canceled the show? They have canceled the show. It aired for five seasons, and then after he got arrested, uh, he, they decided, you know what, we have to stop. We can't keep doing this show. On a separate non-child abuse note, you know you're old when consistently shows get canceled from television that you've never heard of. Well, it's not even about I being old. Yeah, I don't There's either. There's just such I an mean, oversaturated market now. How do you keep up with all these reality yeah. shows? And really, a reality show about a gun shop? There's a reality show about a pawn shop. There's a reality show about people who go to, like, flea markets. There's a reality... Well, literally. I'd love that. I, I love that show, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. All right, uh, there, there's a reality show about, like, going to storage places that have been abandoned or people haven't paid their bills, and then you just go in there and you do auctions on them. I mean, there's a reality show for everything. I, I know why a show like that would be successful. Yeah, it's because it's about guns and we're obsessed with guns in this country, so I could totally see why it would be successful. But enough already with the like terrible reality shows about people who go to swamps and then they do like swamp <laughs> fishing. And <laughs> your jobs aren't that interesting, well, dude. Well, wait, wait until uh, if we ever get to the point where we get a la carte programming and people mm -hmm. get to choose and only pay for what they want, and you will see the eradication of most of this. Eighty percent of the channels. And as as a gun owner and somebody who watches. The lion's share of reality television. <laughs> I have never heard of this show, and I don't give a shit about it. All right. Yeah. So there you go.